surrounding the Birmingham Waterworks Board. Last week, its chairman, Chris Rice, resigned abruptly. Now he says, through a lawyer, that he wants to rescind that resignation and get his old job back. Though Through it all, customers are flooding City Hall with complaints. Our WVTM 13's Jeff Eliasoff spoke with the state's Republican leader who says enough is enough. Jeff? Yeah, indeed. Uh, the problems with the Waterworks Board seem to have more twists, frankly, than a water hose. Former State Representative Paul DeMarco says that the problems are really nothing new. They are decades long. He's not sure what's behind the resignation of C Chairman Chris Rice, nor his claim that the resignation is null and void. But DeMarco says the state legislature must act next session in a bipartisan manner to investigate the board as a whole. There really needs to be a forensic audit of what's going on so that all of us as ratepayers know and understand what has been going on. There's, there's all kinds of rumors and allegations um, swirling around of what's going on down there. And I think we all need to know clearly what is the true financial picture of what's going on, where is money being spent. Now, coming up tonight at 10 o'clock, how DeMarco hopes lawmakers are going to fix the problems, at least some of them, as they go forward. In the meantime, Birmingham City Attorney Nicole King writes in a letter dated today, let me read it, under the law, an unconditional resignation of a public official is effective immediately and cannot be withdrawn. So for now, the resignation of Chris Rice that was dated September 6th stands. We're live tonight in Birmingham. Jeff Eliasoff, WVTM 13.